Today is a big, big day. I'm going to pick up our new puppy. Her name is Penelope. We've been waiting about a month and a half for her. Finally got all her vaccinations, all her paperwork done. And so we're going to the breeder to pick her up today. She's about an hour and a half outside of Lisbon. I'm gonna take you guys kind of on a little road trip. We're gonna go pick up our new dog. You ready to go meet your sister? You gonna be a good brother? Is she gonna be your girlfriend? What's, what's about to happen, man? I think you're a little nervous, my boy. <laughs> I will say one thing. Little Penny, you are not gonna be cheap, but she'll be worth it. She'll be worth every dollar. I'm gonna go pick up your sister. First off on our road trip, we gotta go to the pet store, get all of Penny's stuff, her dog bowl, dog bed, kennel, maybe get a couple treats, some food. So we gotta prepare for a new puppy. So that's where we're going first. If I don't give Benji something, he's gonna absolutely be so butthurt. So I'm gonna get him this black bear. When I say that was very, very difficult, I'm not lying. Hey buddy, hi buddy. It ended up costing 150 euros. For all this stuff, you don't realize how much stuff you need for a dog. A lot of times I get the question, is it difficult to have a dog overseas or to get a dog overseas uh, as an American? And honestly, there's two ways you do it. Surprisingly, I've done it both ways. I mean, this will be my second dog and it's a different way. But number one is you do it like the unofficial way. And that's what we did in Serbia where we got Benji. He's a Serbian sausage, Kobatica. And we got him basically off like Serbian eBay for dogs. And he was 50 euros, super sketchy. We got him from a farm. He was sick, didn't have his vaccinations, no microchip, no nothing. So that's one way. And we had to get him a passport. That's a really long, tough process and can be, you know, that can turn out bad. It turned out great for us. It actually saved us a bunch of money and he turned out to be a great dog, but he was super sick at the start. Or you do what we're doing this time with Penny, our new dog, Penelope. You find a breeder, that's the toughest thing to do. You find a good breeder and the breeder, if they're really good, they'll do everything for you. Penny will be vaccinated, microchipped. She'll have a, a little like Portuguese passport thing. She'll be registered with the country, literally like flawless. You know, it all depends on the country you're in. If you're in a super regulated or a lot of rules country, kind of like when I was in Germany, that would have been very tough to get a dog because of all the rules and regulations. It's also very tough to like fly with the dog sometimes. You have to pick and choose which countries you fly into, which airlines you're flying. It's a, a little bit of a process, but yeah, it's doable. So if anyone's thinking about it, for sure do it. It's been the most fulfilling thing for me and my wife. And that's why we're getting the second one. We're on our way to the breeder right now. It's about another 45 minutes or an hour. I'm getting a little nervous, excited. It really hit me when we bought the new uh, dog stuff, like the bed and all her toys. And, that's real. We're gonna have another little little munchkin run around. So I'm, I know I'm already at the point where I'm the weird guy, the weird basketball player that has two wiener dogs, that will have two wiener dogs. And you know, it may be weird, but the logic makes sense because, okay, we have two dogs, but it's pushed back me and Carly having kids a little bit longer because we really want to have kids, but also we want to make sure until we're really financially at a point, which is not always, you know, that's a whole nother debate in itself. But getting a second wiener dog, I think pushes back a baby one to two years. So, you know, we're playing chess, you know, not checkers, we're playing chess.
You excited to meet your sister? Oh, you are, huh? You are excited. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all. Look at little Penny, you sweetheart. Hey, baby. Look, look, Ben. Ben, look at your sister. Look, look, look at your sister. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Your first ever toy. Here you go, baby. Here you go, the Lammy. Hi, baby. Come on, Penny. Come on. Come play. Come play, baby. I think this is where we're gonna be for the rest of the night. Penny seems to be a little overwhelmed, a little exhausted, a lot of new stuff going on, so she's just sleeping. Tomorrow we'll take Penny on our first walk, see what toys she likes. Maybe she'll eat, she hasn't eaten yet. So yeah, this is exciting. I forgot how much work a puppy is. Like, you have to watch her 24 seconds, so this is an investment. Tomorrow we'll, we'll get her, we'll get her acclimated for sure. First night with Penny was a success. She's crazy, because she slept like this the whole night. Oh, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She slept like this the whole night. And remember, I have a broken cheekbone. So she was just getting awfully close the whole time. Look at her, absolute sweetheart. For some reason, in my mind, walking them was gonna be so much easier, but big boy walks at a way different pace than baby girl. Eat your breakfast. Is it tasty? Eat your breakfast. Get her bed. Get her bed. Penny. Penny. Hi. Look at the mess you guys made. Yeah, both of you, troublemakers. dogs in one picture. One, two, three. It took 12 hours, but we finally found your favorite little toy. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two here. First time leaving you guys alone. You guys gonna be good? Hot babies. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot doggies. Hot. We got a poo-poo not on the mat. Looks like it was you, huh? So I left them home alone for the first time. And surprisingly, they did pretty good. Penny didn't rip anything up. Didn't even go to the bathroom in the house. That's a cute little girl. Okay, go run. Run, run, run. Penny, <laughs> I'll manhandle you too, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, stinky. Stinky booty. No, get out of there. Get out of there. Come on, stink. Come on, stink too. Oh, good doggy. Good doggy. Good doggy. Penny was a short lived, short lived park player. She wants to snuggle. You could go all day. <laughs> you gotta do a play. You gotta do a play. He's moving too fast for you, huh? Penny's been with us for about three days. She seems to be really adjusting well. We're happy. It's just great to add another member to our family. Expect to see a lot more of her in the vlogs. And yeah, you can tell she's a sweetheart. So Penny, tell him, like, and subscribe. All right, we'll catch y'all later. She got eyes and nose. She said, yeah, I know. Wish I could make it easier. I can't, I just know right and wrong.